A new poll shows Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders leading the 2020 Democratic field among Hispanic voters. The poll from Univision shows the Vermont senator with a nine-point lead over former Vice President Joe Biden, with former New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg not far behind. Sanders also leads with Hispanic voters in Nevada, the next nominating contest this Saturday. Here he holds an 11-point lead over Biden, with Tom Steyer nine points behind in third. Chuck Rocha is a senior advisor to the Sanders campaign, where he has been working on Hispanic and Latino outreach. He joins me now from Las Vegas. Chuck, thanks very much for being with us. <laughs> thanks for having me. So we see Senator Sanders doing well with Hispanic voters. He's also leading among young voters. Today's NPR PBS poll shows him at 54 percent with voters under 45, but at just 13 percent with voters over 45. What is the Sanders campaign doing to reach out to older voters who are largely outside his current constituency? So thinking about older voters and older Latinos, they take in information so much different than young Latinos. So what we've been doing in advertising and talking to them where they take in their information for older Latinos, Spanish, paper, Spanish language weekly newspapers are a great way to get that message out and talk to older voters. Older voters are very important to us in lots of campaigns because they're regular voters. So we've had an active process in Nevada to talk to older people, older voters, and get them out to the polls and now been moving them out to early vote. And yesterday, Chuck, you were at a campaign-sponsored soccer tournament in Nevada with current New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio. Late last year, de Blasio says he, quote, spent literally six years undoing what Michael Bloomberg did as mayor. How does the Sanders campaign want to deploy de Blasio to talk about his predecessor? Yesterday, we were in the heart of East Las Vegas, in the heart of the Latino community. You were talking about Bernie Sanders leading with the Latino vote. That's because we've been working in that community for almost eight months. The key to getting Latinos and people of color and diverse communities out is to go to their communities, show them respect, listen to them, invest in those communities. And guess what we've done? We've hired those communities. We welcome Mayor de Blasio to come join us in that battle. And that's why we continue to poll constantly ahead with people of color, because we went to those communities and hired those communities. And now we've invested in those communities. Well, as we mentioned, you're in Las Vegas. Last week, the city's culinary union issued literature attacking Senator Sanders over his Medicare for all single payer health care proposal. Why are some unions like the culinary union opposed to Medicare for all, while others like National Nurses United are for it? Let's be clear, we love the Culinary Union. That's why Bernie Sanders had a 100% lifetime voting record with the Culinary Union. And when I talked about us talking to working class Latinos in Las Vegas and in Nevada for eight months, lots of them, many of them, almost all of them belong to the Culinary Union. And I spent my childhood and my early years negotiating contracts and every pay raise I ever negotiated always went to the price of health care. So if you don't have to pay for that health care and you're in Medicare for all, you can take those benefits and you can put them in your own pockets. And that's what we're finding with the workers with the Culinary Union. But why do you do you think there is such a different kind of support among the different unions for Medicare for All? Oh, I've, I've, been begging, I've been belonging to a union for 24 years. There's always differences between different unions. We are happy to have more totality and union support amongst all the unions than any other candidate. That's because of Bernie Sanders' lifetime commitment to working class values, standing against these bad trade deals, and lifting up the voices of workers all across this country. I also want to ask you about a tweet from Michael Bloomberg's campaign manager, Kevin Sheiky. He wrote, quote, the opposition research on Bernie Sanders could fill President Trump's empty Foxconn facility in Wisconsin. It is very damaging, perhaps even disqualifying. This comes after the Bloomberg campaign put out a video highlighting online attacks from Sanders supporters. What do you make of this? Well, I'll say this. Bernie Sanders has been running for public office since his days as being the Burlington mayor. I think Bernie Sanders has been pretty well vetted. And when you run against Hillary Clinton, I can guarantee you if there was something that needed to come out on Bernie Sanders as an old guy who's done this for 31 years, I'll promise you it had come out. Now, Mike Bloomberg's out there trying to buy this election, spending hundreds of millions of dollars. We welcome that debate every day when you want to have a billionaire take on working class champion Bernie Sanders. Does that sound like a threat to you? You know, we don't take threats over here. We just continue to power Americans, and Americans are who funding this campaign. We have more individual contributions from people all across the country, while Mike Bloomberg continues to write checks for himself. 
Well, tomorrow will be the first time Senator Sanders would be on a debate stage with Michael Bloomberg. How should we expect the senator to go after Bloomberg on stage? Look, you should expect for him to go after voting records and things that people have said and policy positions. We're not going to personally attack anybody, but there are real differences between Mike Bloomberg and Senator Bernie Sanders, and we want to expose them. We want the American people to know the difference in the way that they stand on policies, from trades and shipping jobs overseas to the things they've said about cutting Social Security and Medicare. The American people deserve to get to know the truth. All right, Chuck Rocha from the Sanders campaign, thank you very much. Thank you.